It was the first day of autumn in the Hundred Acre Wood, and everyone there was very busy spring or autumn cleaning. Or at least almost everyone was. Little Roo was otherwise occupied playing with his ball. Now Al was busy looking for something he had misplaced. Oh, I say, where has my memory book gone off to? I wonder why I can't remember. Carrots, carrots, carrots! I must gather more carrots. And Eeyore was having a particularly gloomy day. Pooh, however, was happily doing what he loves most. Eating honey. <laughs> Pooh Bear certainly loves honey. But honey was not on everyone's mind, especially not Tigger's. And a couple of hoo-wa-da-da-do-dee-doos. And no ba da ding Ah! A granosaurus! A granosaurus? Oh! A Wait a second there, little piglet. Oh, that's just a big old pile of leaves. And they're very good for bouncing in. Saurus, and it's right behind me. P -p -p Please save me, Christopher Robin. Don't be afraid, Piglet. There's nothing behind you. Yeah, sure, sure, there's nothing there. It's just your imagination. <laughs> what a frightened little Piglet you are. Quite sure. You know what, Piglet? You need to face your fears. Oh my goodness, no, I couldn't do... I mean, that would be... Face my fears, you say? That's right. To overcome a fear, you just have to stare it down. Believe in yourself, Piglet. You have a hero inside of you, just waiting to come out. But I'm too afraid, Christopher Robin, and I'm so very small. But heroes must be big and brave. Oh no, I'll never be a hero. And so as Roo was falling asleep, Pooh started to drift off as well. But as everyone was so preoccupied, they hadn't noticed Piglet. Feeling that he was too small and too easily frightened to help his friends, Piglet left the Hundred Acre Wood all alone and rather sad. If you, would, if you would like to begin a new adventure, just stop and talk to our very industrious friend, Gopher. Should you? As Pooh slept, Piglet became the hero of Pooh Bear's dream world. I could do with a smackerel of honey now. Just a small jar. Or two. Or three. Oh, 
If only Piglet were here, he would surely help me find some honey. Thought Pooh, falling asleep. And that's exactly what he was going to dream about. And who is this? Could it be my young friend, Piglet? Oh, hello, Owl. What a pleasure it is to see you. Now tell me, what are you doing in Pooh's dream? Would you perhaps be looking for a treasure? Oh, no, Owl. I've come to see if Pooh might need my help. Ha <laughs> ha, bravo, Piglet. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Pooh is just on the other side of this gate. Oh, do be careful, Piglet. This caramel is quite sticky and I i seem to have found myself um, rather a, a stuck in it. And it would be so bothersome if we both got stuck, don't you think? Oh, but, but Pooh, how did you get stuck in the caramel? Well, you see, I was searching for some money and Rabbit thought this might be a good place to search. Well, at least I think that's what he told me. But now that I think about it some more, I could be mistaken. Hold on, Pooh. I'll get you out. That would be very nice. Thank you, Piglet. I suppose a stick might be useful.
Piglet thought the lollipop stick might be quite handy. Hang on, Pooh. I'll do my best to unstick you. Oh, thank you, Piglet. You see, I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for um, standing in. Now let's find Rabbit. I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. Come along now, Piglet. Follow me. And so it was that Piglet decided to follow his friend Winnie the Pooh in the hopes of helping him find some honey. Oh, bother. Piglet, there seems to be some cotton candy blocking the door. However shall we get through? Think, think. I do believe I've seen this cake before. And if this cake is here, then Rabbit must be over there. Will he be able to help us find the honey? Oh yes, Rabbit always has a smackerel or two of honey. <laughs> now how shall we get through this cotton candy? Think, think, think. I suppose we could eat it. Oh no, Pooh. There's much too much to eat. Yes, of course you're right, Piglet. But however shall we get to the other side then? It isn't my dear friend Piglet, and I do believe you're looking for a way to get rid of some cotton candy. <laughs> Let's see. The weight multiplied by the mass squared divided by the height of the cotton candy uh, minus the... <laughs> Aha! A bit of water could be the solution. And we're better to find water than in a bottle. Uh, could you help me? Of course, Piglet. Could you press the handle of the bottle? I'm a bit too small to reach it, you see. Oh, a bottle with handles. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Now, let's see. Oh, that did it. And now, perhaps we can find a rabbit and some honey for my tummy. Yes. Oh, thank you, Pooh. I'll go find Rabbit and ask him if he knows where some honey is. Piglet, perhaps you should go and find Rabbit, and I shall return to where I was before I was here. Oh, and also, Piglet, you know there may be half lumps in there. I suppose perhaps you should be rather careful. Half a lumps.
Det er fuldt om du. Det er fuldt om du. If only Piglet could frighten away the heffalump in this room, it's certain that the door would open. The chocolate door was blocking the path. Now, how would a very small piglet open such a door? <laughs> The cupboard appeared locked. Our friend Piglet would need to find the key. Piglet had found a candle. The candle's flame was exactly what Piglet would need should he have to melt something. Oh, rabbit. Oh, hello, Piglet. I'm afraid I haven't much time to chat. I'm very busy, you see. I was just hoping to find some honey. Everyone's always in search of honey. First, Pooh eats all the honey in my cupboard, and now you. Anyway, I'm fresh out. Oh, where then do you think I might find some more? If it's not too much trouble, that is. More honey? Well... There is some next to the beehive. Oh, but it's quite dangerous, Piglet. The bees won't let you near their honey unless you find some way to get them away from their beehive.
in a hole in the ground? <laughs> what a curiosity. If Piglet were to cover the hole and conceal the hive, perhaps the bees would come looking for it. My goodness, what a lot of buzzing bees. If only Piglet could attract them towards something, another hive perhaps, then they would most certainly leave. And so, Piglet was able to reach the honey. Now, he could easily fill an entire honey pot. Well done, Piglet. Oh, you're braver than I thought. <laughs> and now that the bees are away, I shall be able to replenish my honey supply. Oh, and, oh, and you'll need a honey pot too, won't you? Well, here's the key that unlocks a cupboard in my kitchen. There you'll find a pot ready to be filled with honey. Thank you, Rabbit. Rabbit had just given Piglet a key. Ah! 
Oh, wonderful, a honey pot. And now all I need to do is fill it with honey. Oh, I, I think Pooh will be very happy. <laughs> and so, at last, Piglet had filled his honey pot. It's just for you. Oh, yum. Honey. <laughs> there was nothing yummy than honey. Mm, thank you, Piglet. You are a very good friend indeed. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Pooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> and so, despite the heffal lumps and despite the woozles, the very brave Piglet managed to bring some honey back to his dear friend Pooh. Oh, thank you, Piglet. This is the tastiest, the most uh, delicious, oh, no, the yummiest honey I have ever eaten. <laughs>